morning, welcome back to a new video. This is a bit of a cold one. It's really cold. It's minus 10 with really, like not strong wind, but really annoying freezing wind. Uh, and our goal today is to get this roll hopefully in. And uh, this will happen without the tractor. So we'll have to just try to do it with the car. We have the sheet. I think if we roll on the sheet and then strap it on, we can probably slide it in. But I think we can maybe make it. We have to try yeah, it. Yeah, let's, let's see. <laughs> we can see if we can find maybe some chains that we can put around the wheels to make them more grippy on the snow. Then maybe we're gonna get it fully in, uh, at least closer, so we can at least roll it. Cause it's a bit of a hill there, but if we could get it closer a bit, that would be really useful. Yeah. First, let's try to roll it under the plastic sheet so it slides on the sheet. Hopefully that's gonna work. <laughs>
part didn't work out. So yeah, it's getting too much stuck and it's rolling instead of sliding. So the roll is a bit too heavy. So we're just gonna try to pull it down. It's a bit of hill down, so hopefully that will work. Yeah, it's a bit of work, but I think we have to do it. And it keeps us warm as well, you know? Yeah, idea. What if we get Barbara in front and all the goats? I think they will pull it away, <laughs> but they'll pull it the wrong direction if they want to eat. <laughs> okay, let's go. Yeah, okay. Now we just roll it. Which is really really happy because the past days we couldn't give them so much because it was so painful for us to get it out and it was cold so it's such a happy feeling I know it's weird to say that that is something happy to be happy about but makes it work so much faster and we're able to give the animals more because we have a lot of food we don't need to be greedy but it was just so painful so now they have hay and as you may notice here's a feeder side missing and that is because we were really kind and we were giving them crackers as you saw the first video when they moved in and we gave them also the next day which made a gigantic mess in here because they get really they're really addicted to those crackers so they were running around in circles trying to get the crackers they did not even care about the hay so we said no more and look at that happily look at the, all the sheep behind you think I mean, they're really squished, but they're sharing. And they're staying in one spot because they know they're not gonna get crackers and there's no crackers somewhere else. So they're all sharing. And uh, yeah, we stopped the cracker situation. And I don't know if I'm gonna put the feeder now up now because it seems like they can eat, but we'll see. We have it outside. So we have this one pretty much for the sheep and the bullied ones. And here's the big bully <laughs> with her boyfriend. So they are staying in that corner. She has taken over this space and doesn't leave because she knows there's no crackers. And uh, kind of the rest just shares around. They kind of have their own space though. You see them all the time in the all same the places. Same, yeah, yeah, The lima is always there and just Spocky and Marshmallow, those white ones are just a bit changed places. But the crackers just made it so worse. They literally, Barbara punched this one because of the crackers because she was trying to get somewhere else to find them. So yeah, we stopped that. As I said, we're not giving them. Only when they get babies or only on good situations. Um, but pupils are getting the crackers, so they're not going to waste. But yeah, look how beautiful. Everyone is happy. By the way, we didn't mention that all the fears that we have built, I mean, it's only two, but all the woods and from the windows, they are recycled from the previous gates that the goats had in the enclosure and the one from the sheep. 
so they're pretty much reused again and again I don't know how many times we're gonna reuse them before they're fully destroyed but as long as we have them they're making a really good use and they're actually the wood our neighbors gave us so we are reusing them a lot so but we're gonna let them eat and Dave is gonna explain you why we had to push the roll with our hands and power but I'm really happy we did it So here is something like a little update on the tractor. I was working on the engine and I realized one of the cylinders is leaking oil inside of the firing place, kind of, the chamber that it fires in. So this is no good, it's not gonna fire. So one was run running, that's why it was running so poorly. So I fixed that by changing out the head which was cracked or something was not sealed correctly. So I changed the head, all good, ready to run. I tried to start it and as, I would, as the tractor was ready to start up, I hear a knock and boom and the starter just spins in nothingness, just spins on its own. So yeah, a bit of a problem that stopped everything from working. This thing was so ready to work, we were like confident we can bring the hay rolls, we can do everything, we clean snow, everything. So yeah, the problem that it is, there's a giant wheel that spins the engine from the starter and this wheel has little uh, teeth, yes. So these teeth on this giant circle inside the engine, they're worn out in two parts where our which are kind of the parts where the tractor's engine spins the easiest so that's where it stops every time uh, for the starter to start spinning and those are both eaten out fully so you twist the engine a bit and then you can start it but once the tractor starts to s tries to start the starter is spinning in that empty space and the engine starts to spin on its own they both collide and it broke the starter so it cracked the starters full inside uh, all the inside of the starter just got cracked and destroyed from the power of the engine. The engine didn't start anyway, so nothing was working. And uh, the wheel needs to be changed. The starter can be fixed easily, you just repair it with a kit that's cheap and easy to fix, but the engine is cheap, but it's very difficult. This structure has to be sliced in the middle and split open front from back, and I need to replace this wheel. It's not a hard job, it's just hard to do it in this this space where it is now it's hard to just bring the front forward which weighs probably a ton the back weighs maybe not a, maybe this weighs more than a ton and this bit less than a ton or a ton and a bit more than a ton uh, so this is very heavy very hard to move and then you need to precisely put it back after you have fixed it and everything needs to match because you know it needs to go screws screw holes need to go into the screws and everything needs to be perfect very difficult to do but I need to do this and it's minuses the winter is here and it needs to be done because we're not rolling every hay roll, that's insane. No. Plus there's also huge snow which we cannot drive through, the car struggles pretty hard to drive through the snow and it can get worse. So yeah, this needs to be fixed. Let me show you what actually I got before it broke for the tractor, a kind of like a new part, new addition for the tractor which I was really excited to try to use. Let's go see. Okay, I forgot to relocate, I just did not have time, so it got snowed in a bit. This is the triangle for the older equipment that doesn't work on the three-point system. So yeah, we have the triangle for the older machines. This I got kind of for free as a gift. So what we have here is a bucket. So this bucket is for the, our tractor. It's actually an original bucket that came with the tractor. It was supposed to come with the tractor from a person that bought it off the previous owner. So uh, he just called me up and said, do you want the bucket for the tractor? It was like 100 euros together with the triangle, plus delivery included, so pretty useful. And we got this nice bucket. That's a really good deal because these do go pretty expensive even in a rough condition like this. But yeah, now we have a bucket so we can lift, like we can scoop up some dirt, bring it to places, snow, not really, this is not for snow, but more for scooping up things, filling up with rocks, anything really. It's really useful. If we can get the tractor to going, then we're gonna be really golden with all the jobs around the farm. Yeah, right? Before we end this video, we have a video from Greece from my mom, cause she wanted to thank you for all the birthday wishes and she has included also something else. So let's see that.
morning, uh, good evening, good afternoon, uh, whatever time you are watching this. As you know, I'm Despina's mom. Maybe you have seen me in other videos. And uh, this time I want to take the opportunity to thank you again very much for supporting my daughter. And uh, mostly because it was amazing. I never ever had so many birthday wishes like this year uh, because of you. I think there has been more than 600 wishes and uh, personal, uh, just not, not just happy birthday, they wrote uh, a lot of things. And I'm amazed about this and I'm amazed how much you are enjoying or living uh, Despina's journey together with her. Uh, I choose to make this video today for you and to show you some uh, things I had with Despina together when she has been here in Athens. Olive trees, I have to take care. These are actually Zespina's olive trees she got sometimes from uh, friends for birthday. This is what I got from those little trees this year. Uh, we have a parking lot um, where there is an olive tree. And this is another kind of, another variety of olives. Uh, this is, uh, I think in the States you know these ones, they are the Kalamon olives. And uh, those little ones um, are used for producing oil or sometimes with uh, lemon and uh, oregano or thyme. This year I have the first time, I think, seven pieces on it. It's quite a lot for growing them in the pot. And uh, I think uh, Zespina, in her stay in Latvia, she brought uh, planting and harvesting to another level. But uh, we had a nice tray all these years here in Athens uh, where we tried to put all this. Here's another olive tree. This one didn't give any olive this year. It had some flowers on it and then snow came and everything was over. So I think you've got a little insight uh, how I'm living here, how Despina lived before and uh, why she likes so much uh, to plant things and to see them growing. So thank you very much again for all your wishes you sent to me. I wish you the same back and um, have a Merry Christmas, stay healthy, uh, keep enjoying Despina's videos, like them, share them <laughs> and uh, yeah maybe we see each other sometime, somewhere again. Have a nice time, stay well and goodbye. So that's pretty much it with the day. We're not going to do much more. Uh, we're pretty much going to go in and warm up because we're outside freezing here. Sure, you're not cold at all. You're built for this weather. So yeah, I think that's pretty much it for this video. Hope you enjoyed <laughs> and we're going to see you next time. By the way, it's not our dog. Don't get happy, people. It's our neighbor's dog. <laughs> what are you doing to him? Look, he likes catching things. Baron, that's a snowball. You cannot bring those. Catch it. Ha <laughs> ha